Welcome back to the workshop. I'm Bill. It's finally time for this video that I've had so many requests for. This is replacing the packing in a lantern valve. Stove valve would be similar. Um, to keep the, the valve from leaking, the, the valve stem nut goes on. It screws down onto the valve. This is a 220BX valve. And you know you tighten this down and if you've worked with these for any length of time, you know if it's too loose, you may have fuel leaking out of the nut, and if it's too tight, it'll be hard to turn. What this does, there's a graphite cylinder, from the factory at any rate, there's a graphite cylinder on this 220. It sits between these two pieces of steel, these two steel cylinders, and what happens is, so if, if we were replacing it, we'd slide, I don't know if this, that's not gonna come off that easily, um, but uh, we would slide this off, slide the new packing on, and you can buy, if you don't wanna do it the hard way here, you can do it the easy way and go to Old Coleman Parts and buy a replacement graphite packing and put it on there and, and just put it back together. It's quick and easy. Um, I'm on Vancouver Island. I don't have easy access to Old Coleman Parts, uh, especially when I get surprised with a project like this in the middle of another project. So I keep graphite packing rope on hand, and this is what I typically use. And as far as I'm concerned, it works just as well as the factory packings. But what you're doing is you have some kind of graphite cylinder or rope stuffed in between here. And when you tighten down this nut, it's tightening that graphite, in this case, between these two pieces of steel. It squishes it out and that creates the seal. And of course, graphite's slippery, so it also allows the, the valve stem to turn. Now, sometimes the graphite packing just breaks down. I had another 220 a number of years ago that uh, I took the valve stem nut off and the packing just came out as a bunch of dust, basically. Um, other times the packing just gets, it, it, it's no, no longer slippery, it gets sticky, uh, and it's really hard to turn the valve stem. Um, the other thing that happens is sometimes they just start breaking down and, and, and they leak. So sometimes you have to replace these. It's not the most common thing, but it does happen uh, with some frequency. So I use this graphite packing rope. I get it at a local plumbing supply warehouse. It's pretty inexpensive, a couple dollars for a package, and this is just what's left of it. There should be just enough here. Um, if you go to a place like Home Depot, at least I know Home Depot here sells, um, sometimes they have this, sometimes they don't. They sell, and with the faucet repair kits, uh, or in that area, they sell another kind of graphite packing rope that's just for faucets, and it's like a string with clumpy stuff on it. Uh, that does not work and when it gets hot, it will turn to mush. So you wanna find this stuff. It's like a sheet of graphite that's all just rolled up uh, and coiled. So what we do is wrap this around. I can't really tell you how many wraps to put on, on there. It's gonna depend on the rope you're using. Um, usually, let's see, I'm gonna say three is probably gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna just go ahead and try to use all of this because um, this is a fairly large valve. So you wrap it, wrap it around in a coil. My rule of thumb is use enough that it's difficult to get the, the, uh, the valve stem nut back on. So we'll thread this in. I'm gonna screw the valve all the way in and, and this will help some of that packing to work its way in. Notice the packing's basically like a, um, it's like a sheet of thin sheet of graphite that's all coiled up. So it, it's got a lot of room to compress. And uh, see, this was so easy to put on. This may actually not be, a, be enough. Oh, actually, no, there we go. All right, this might be borderline because usually it should be, my rule of thumb is for it to be a little more difficult than that to put on. Or hard it is to turn. 
actually that's that's doable but let's try it once or twice that's too hard so we'll back this off but that's actually a good sign that's getting easier Go ahead and take the nut off just to double check my work. And we'll see what it looks like in there. Okay, that's got a little bit sticking out there, but. That's actually about, I've compressed it, so you see that shiny part there. That's actually about what it should look like. So I just need to trim off this little bit, and in fact, we can do that with probably with the valve stem nut. There we go. I think that's what was squeaking, was that was putting undue pressure on this piece of steel here. play with it over time it'll loosen up a little bit too but there you have it repacking a lantern valve and uh, that should be just as satisfactory as the factory packings so thanks for watching hope this helps